Welcome back to another video with Shardbound Showcase. In this video, we're going to cover the Green Army led by General Varden. General Varden is very versatile. He can play aggressively, or he can play more of a control style game. And this is largely in part due to his keyword synergy within the green cards, which is loyalty. And if you remember, loyalty has some sort of bonus effect when the minions are played next to General Varden. Varden is a melee hero whose ability allows him to get a random blessing put into his hand. These blessings will either summon a minion, or it'll also allow him to buff a minion. So let's start talking about some cards. Strip Mine is great because it functions in several ways. Obviously it'll allow you here to draw cards for only two mana, which is great, but additionally it removes a boulder. Removing a boulder, either it will give you additional movement, or it can remove a line of sight blocker if you're playing a ranged deck. Next up is Lockery Nightshade. Lockery is very versatile. It can be used in early game removal to try and take out a couple smaller minions because it's a 3-5, uh, or it can be used in late game to take out a high threat. It can accomplish this by taking advantage of its loyalty keyword, giving it poison. Poison, again, is going to kill any minion regardless of how high its health or attack are, which is one attack from Lockery. Rock Crusher is a great card because even though it doesn't have Deep Strike, it does have the ability to be summoned on a boulder and it'll destroy it. So this can be used to put on your side of the board, or it can be used to play aggressively and put it on the opponent's side of the board. It's great if you need to block off one pathing area, so if you're pushing, say, the bottom right side, like in this clip, you can put some sort of threat or obstacle in the way on the opposite side of the board. Lifespring Seedling is one of those great artifacts I mentioned earlier. It has Deep Strike, so you can place it anywhere on the board, and it's going to heal 2 health back to all adjacent units at the end of each turn. You can use this to play in and aggressively, and then heal up by dropping it down on those minions you've pushed forward with. Or, if you're playing more of a stall control game, you can place it somewhere safe on your side, out of line of sight, and heal up. Tempest Hound is a great early game aggressive card. You can summon it next to a boulder, so again, similar to Deep Strike, because it has charge, you can run in and attack with it. So whether that's applying pressure to the enemy general, clearing out a minion that's posing a threat, or potentially blocking your general. Blight Spore Seedling can be summoned anywhere on the map, and at the end of each turn, it's going to spread its ooze that'll deal two damage to any units that are sitting on one of those tiles. This can be quite a nuisance for your opponent if it's not dealt with early. I'm a big fan of Mountain Miner, and I say that simply because of its ability. For only one mana, you can summon a random monster of three available this can be a copper 2-2 two, two monster, a silver 3-3 three, three monster, or a gold, the rarest, 4-4 four, four monster. Jumping back to another spell, Petrify can be used to eliminate high value targets, any type of artifact that may be causing you some trouble, or something that you just want to shut down in the game so your opponent can't use it. Here you see I was able to render two high value threats into just some small little lifelike statues. I would hate myself if I made this video and didn't give a quick shout out to my favorite minion in the game, Kavashi Highguard. This guy just looks awesome. Last but not least, Precise Detonation. Word of the wise, if you ever play against green, don't stand next to boulders. Precise Detonation can be used to do a lot of damage in a pretty big area. And that's going to wrap it up for General Varden and the Green Army. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, tell your friends. Check us out on social media so you can see more great content, not just from this channel, but also within the community.